A tsunami warning is in place for the Philippines and Japan after a magnitude 7.5 earthquake struck in the Philippines. In the realm of our mesmerizing planet, where natural wonders and breathtaking landscapes abound, the oceans take center stage as both a source of beauty and an embodiment of immense power. While we often find solace in the tranquility of waves gently lapping at the shores, it's crucial to remember that these same oceans have the potential to unleash deadly forces capable of reshaping our world. Tsunamis, in particular, stand out among these formidable forces, capable of wreaking havoc on coastal communities with devastating consequences. NASA, the space agency, has recently issued a warning regarding an upcoming tsunami which has sent shockwaves throughout the world. What's happening? Let's find out together and dive right in. NASA's Tsunami Warning Recent events have thrust the potential danger of tsunamis into the spotlight as the government of New Caledonia issued a tsunami warning triggered by a tremor in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Adding to the alarm, UNESCO, a global authority on matters of cultural heritage and scientific research, has issued a chilling warning. Europe, with its historic cities like Nice in France, Istanbul in Turkey, and Alexandria in Egypt, is under an imminent threat of experiencing a devastating tsunami. What sets this warning apart is the unwavering confidence displayed by UNESCO scientists. With calculations leading to an inescapable conclusion, they assert that a tsunami of colossal proportions is on the horizon, and its arrival may be sooner than we think. The United Nations echoes these concerns, projecting that by next year, an additional 40 cities across 21 countries could find themselves at risk of tsunami strikes. While the warnings are dire, the specifics about the potential tsunami remain shrouded in uncertainty. The exact height of the incoming tsunami is a formidable challenge to predict accurately. Despite this ambiguity, Experts speculate that should the waves reach a height of at least one and a half meters, the consequences would be dire. We're talking about the ability to carry away cars, disrupt power lines, and flood the ground floors of residential buildings, setting the stage for widespread destruction in urban centers. The unsettling nature of this potential tsunami threat is magnified by the fact that tsunamis, while studied relatively well due to historical evidence and past occurrences, are still unpredictable. Traces of ancient tsunamis, such as the Chicxulub crater left by an asteroid impact 66 million years ago, serve as haunting reminders of the colossal natural forces that can reshape our planet. The devastation caused by a 100 meter high tsunami triggered by this impact would dwarf iconic structures like Big Ben if it were to happen today. Yet, tsunamis are not the only peril lurking beneath the ocean's surface. The realm of the sea hides less understood phenomena that are equally menacing. One such phenomenon is the solitary killer wave, a rogue wave that can reach heights of more than 30 meters, which is 10 times the size of an average wave. The USS Ramapo, a ship that survived a 34 meter high wave, showcases the destructive potential of these solitary giants. Vessels confronting such waves are often not as fortunate, swiftly claimed by the relentless ocean. Square waves, another little-known oceanic hazard, present yet another danger. These waves intersect at right angles, creating a checkerboard-like pattern on the water's surface. Such conditions arise when wind and sea currents push waves in opposite directions. While square waves don't typically exceed 3 meters in height, they can envelop ships in a vice-like grip from all sides, leading to near-certain doom. The rarest of these oceanic phenomena is the drone wave, which still eludes comprehensive study due to its extreme infrequency. In 1995, one such wave was detected in the North Sea, reaching a staggering height of 27 meters. However, this single recorded instance doesn't necessarily imply that drone waves are rare by nature. These killers could potentially emerge more frequently, but their devastating force means that eyewitness accounts are seldom available to recount their appearances. Historical Accounts Historical accounts take us to the South American Atacama Desert, where archaeologists have stumbled upon peculiar artifacts. Sea stones, pebbles, and shells were discovered embedded in sedimentary rocks located kilometers away from the ocean. Remnants of stone buildings found in the vicinity show signs of displacement, as if some tremendous force had tilted or pushed them. 
Upon closer examination, scientists were able to piece together the harrowing events that unfolded nearly 4,000 years ago. A mega earthquake had shaken the modern Chilean territory, causing a tsunami with waves soaring as high as 20 meters. This wave could have easily swallowed the Chilean monumental lighthouse of Laren, which stands as a mute witness to the devastating power of these natural forces. The underlying cause of this recurrent danger in Chile is the collision of two massive tectonic plates, the Nazca Oceanic Plate and the South American Continental Plate. As the former slowly descends beneath the latter, earthquakes and tsunamis become reoccurring phenomena in the region. Notably, in 1960, the world bore witness to the most potent earthquake in human history, rocking Chile with a magnitude of a 9.5. This cataclysm was followed by a tsunami, and though the recorded wave height stood at a mere 10 meters, it was enough to decimate numerous coastal towns, claiming the lives of 150 people. As the tsunami reached the shores of California, the death toll surged to a staggering 6,000 lives lost. The recurring pattern of the tsunamis in Chile suggests that such a catastrophic event takes place approximately every three and a half thousand years. Now, modern tsunamis, it seems, are in no way inferior to their prehistoric counterparts in terms of destructive potential. Now, if you're liking this video so far, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Mount Etna As we delve deeper into the potential triggers of tsunamis, a disturbing theory emerges. Volcanic activity. The restless giant in question is Mount Etna, located on the Italian island of Sicily in the Mediterranean. Mount Etna, a formidable and active volcano, has raised eyebrows and stirred unease among scientists due to its unusual behavior. Scientists have observed a slow but relentless shift of the volcano toward the Mediterranean Sea. Adding to the unease, in 2022, Mount Etna erupted not once, but twice, further fueling concerns about the potential disaster lurking beneath the surface. This tectonic restlessness raises a pivotal question. Could the shifting and erupting Mount Etna be the trigger for the impending tsunami? Implications The implications of such a prediction are staggering and far-reaching. If Mount Etna's activity does indeed trigger a tsunami, the consequences could be catastrophic. First and foremost, the immediate impact would be felt by those living in the shadow of Mount Edna. The towns nestled on its slopes, like Catania, would face a relentless onslaught of volcanic ash, rocks, and lava flows. Homes, businesses, and farmlands that once thrived on the fertile soils surrounding the mountain could find themselves in the path of destruction. The skies above Sicily would undergo a transformation, as billowing plumes of ash and smoke reach for the heavens. The once clear air would become a murky, ash-laden atmosphere, casting a gloomy shadow over the entire region. The eruption's influence would extend far beyond the immediate vicinity, affecting air travel and potentially disrupting daily life for those even miles away from the epicenter. Tourism, a vital component of Sicily's economy, would take a severe hit. The allure of exploring ancient ruins, savoring exquisite cuisine, and basking in the Mediterranean sun would be overshadowed by the looming threat of volcanic activity. Visitors would steer clear, and those dependent on tourism for their livelihoods would face economic hardship. As the lava flows make their inexorable journey downhill, there's a risk of infrastructure being engulfed, cutting off communities and complicating rescue and relief efforts. The prospect of widespread evacuations would become a stark reality, forcing residents to leave behind their homes and possessions in the face of nature's fury. An eruption of Mount Etna would be a seismic event not just for Sicily, but for the interconnected world at large, highlighting the unpredictable and formidable forces that shape our planet and the delicate balance between human civilization and the raw power of nature. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.